All right, let's talk about how you can use AI without getting fucked in the ass um, by the AI, not just in general. Okay, so what we have here is we have a form where people are filling out info in order to generate a website. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out where basically it's a product where you know what the other videos talk about it. But we're building a website and all we're taking in is some info about the company um, the company's name and then some optional branding info. And from that, we need to generate, if we go to an example um, here, what we're doing is we're generating these branding assets. If this shit will load, oh, I, I forgot I deleted this uh, this website. All right, hang on. Standby, all right, so we're generating things like this, 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 and we're generating the right uh, sequences to insert this data into the database. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, and this is the function that facilitates doing all that. So we're taking the form data from this form that we just showed and we're running a bunch of processes to coerce that data into the right format and to generate some of the, uh, the extra, um, info. And so the way we do that is one thing is we want to generate a list of the locations for this company. So if we go into the database, actually, hang on. Okay, so every website is going to have a JSON object like this, or actually some of the websites, I should say, is going to have a JSON object like this right here, okay? And we can see it's a list of different locations with the kind of name encoded. And so this is useful for SEO. Um, but we don't want to have to generate this manually. We just take in the company's full address and we use AI to generate this list of locations. Um, so what we're doing is we have inside of trigger.dev, we have a separate subtask right here, generate locations. And the way this works is this is where we're actually generating the, um, the locations. And then only when this succeeds are we actually using that data. Okay, so the way the way we can use AI without getting fucked in the ass is if we go to generate locations. Well, first of all, I had AI generate this prompt for the AI, but then once we get this response, we're running a series of tests to throw an error deliberately if the air if the uh, if the info is wrong. Okay, so we're doing if the data that it returns is not an array, then throw an error, you fucked it up, ChatGPT. What the fuck? And then we're also doing, um, I don't actually understand what this is doing, but basically it's just looking through each location. It's um, in the array, each object, and seeing if that object is correctly formatted. And this is extremely useful because, first of all, we can set an amount of retries, so we can add a maximum of 10 retries. So that means, like when I was first testing this, this prompt wasn't dialed in and it would fail a few times before it got the right output and the right formatting. And instead of trying to prompt the AI again and like format that first, you know, prompt that came out, it's actually more efficient to depend on this to work most of the time. But if it ever fails, we're throwing an error and that's causing this whole function to retry. Okay. So I'm going to, I know that was probably a little bit confusing, but from the top, we're running this generate locations test. We're running this whole function, whole function, whole function. We get to generate locations and then we're triggering this other task. So that's this line right here. We're triggering this task right here. And maybe I can zoom in a, a bit for you. We're, we're, we're triggering this task and this task can retry up to 10 times if the open AI uh, API or if the AI itself isn't working. And so we're just, generating an output and then throwing an error whenever that shit breaks. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty cherry here. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you the, um, trigger dev. All right. We'll load it up. Um, holy shit, dude. Okay. So runs or actually we'll go to tasks and we'll go generate locations. Let's just see what this looks like. So that one worked first try. I think there was a couple in dev where we had it, it, it worked, but it, damn. Okay, perfect. 
So, so yeah, so what we can see is basically it generated a response and I don't know if this, I don't know if this actually failed for the right reason, but it generated the first response which was invalid. And then we just threw an error and it immediately retried that exact task to get it right this time. And let me see if I can pull up another, um, geez, dude. Let me see if I can pull up another um, example like that. We'll go to canceled. I think you think I canceled this one. Yeah, because I had fucked up the prompt or something. Um, but we keep retrying this task every time we go, okay, look, unexpected token. Yeah, dude, because look at this shit. Because, okay, I wasn't logging the response. But it throws an error because ChatGPT was responding. It was adding this little these little code ticks to represent it's like a code block and then saying json which i just want fucking json dude take take this out so i fixed the prompt and now it's pretty reliable but if this ever breaks or if it ever starts fucking up it would see this error and it would immediately go okay you fucked it up ai let's let's try this again and then it'll run the whole thing again and um yeah that's a whole video short video today because i'm busy all right um, yeah.